Um, people will tell you Estonia police are super swift yeah. when there tends to be an issue. But yeah. as a person and also as an African, you have to be smart. Of course, racism is, is everywhere, you know. This lady with her friend just came in and then said, um, Africans, go home. This is beautiful. Right. It's got this uh, Kremlin feel to yeah, it. So this is a um, medieval house, medieval food. Yes. But they do take care of <laughs> Yes, we have Lord Magic. <laughs> Most times, you know, when people tell me that Estonians are cold, I'll say yes, I understand. Why Estonia? I also don't know why Estonia. I visited Estonia, a Baltic country in Northern Europe and formerly part of the Soviet Union, an intriguing country that has been under numerous foreign rule, notably by Germany, Sweden and Russia. I was curious to know how it feels to live here as a black African. So in this video, I meet up with a Nigerian brother who shares his experience living in Estonia while giving me a tour of Tallinn, the capital city. I hope you find it useful. So if you want to buy an umbrella for 350 euros, you Come get to it from here. Here. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Yeah, the coldest, uh, the coldest uh, month uh, here in Estonia should be February. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and then you'll be freezing like even I won't, but I won't be in February, man. I won't be <laughs> yeah. in February. So. You, won't, you won't be able to put on this. Like, God. Hi. It's not too bad. So this was what I was telling you yeah. about. So, I, I, I found this like yeah. and uh, you can see the Estonian. The already man, this is 2384. Like this is when the uh, song festival is going to come up. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, so these are like they are predicting. Yeah, like, yeah. This is when they will be yeah. celebrating their 500 ah. uh, year anniversary. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I finally met Charles, who has been living in Estonia. About I five guess. Years. I guess that you were Nigerian. Would yeah. Did I guess right? I'm Nigerian. Oh, okay. So. Can you say hello to, and then introduce yourself? Hi guys, what's up? So my name is Charles Madabuti. I, I live here in Estonia. I am Nigerian. So basically I came here to study and um, decided to stay here nice. and see what I can do for myself. Um, so I've been living here for about five years. Five years, okay. Yeah, so after studies, I decided to stay back, like I said, to, to work, you know, mm. help myself, also assist my family back home. So, uh, I decided to take up blogging. Like, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, before I left Nigeria, I used to have a blog where okay. I published news and so on. So I came in here due to the fact that I had that in mind. I, I love um, anything that has to do with media. Media, okay. So I, I decided to start up uh, a YouTube after so many years of living here. You know, mm. I was always shy, you know. I prefer writing, so mm. I was always camera shy. Um, whenever we have this African gathering, because I, then I joined the African Student Union mm. and then later became um, one of the secretaries yeah. Yeah, okay. for the African Student okay. Union. So I would always take up my camera, yeah. video, everything, we do the events and, and so on. Right. So after some years, um, I decided to like, okay, let me just take this. I, I, I like talking to people. Um, I'm not going to be shy of my African accent. Yeah. I'm not going to be shy of, um, yeah, I know I'm cute. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to be camera shy. So, okay, let's just do this. Yeah. You know, make videos. Um, it's my passion. I, I love showing people places. I love yeah. um, talking to people. So, yeah, that's just it. You know, I will say. showing people Estonia so yeah. far because I live here and um, why not? I thought about it. Why not me just show people what yeah. it's like living in Estonia? It's so cold. It's nice. Um, I'm not going to talk about the people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you just yeah. know that. Yeah, I'm living in Europe. You yeah. just have to use your head. Mm. Estonia is safe. Um, mm. It's safe. And then, um, like I said in one of my videos, um, it's a safe place to live. Mm. But at the same time, you just have to be smart, yeah. use your head. Um, people will tell you Estonia police are super swift yeah. when there tends to be an issue. But yeah. as a person, and also as an African, you have to be smart yeah. you know, in anything you do. Yeah. So, so that's um, just it. Um, when I was leaving Africa, I'm thinking US, UK, Germany, maybe Italy. Why Estonia? 
But people would also ask me why Estonia. I also don't know why Estonia. <laughs> I just found myself here because I needed to leave um, Nigeria. Mm. After um, I stud uh, finished my studies in Nigeria, I I couldn't get any job, you know, it was quite difficult getting a job. I studied electrical engineering back home in Nigeria and um, it was quite difficult getting a job. You know, you need to know someone that knows someone before you get the job. So uh, my parents thought about it. Okay, why not you just um, leave the shores of um, Africa and go, um, go to Europe? So my mom and my dad connected um, a relative who lives here. He's married to an Estonian, so yeah. That, that was how I found That's myself how you here. Got here. Yeah. All right. One thing I've realized, this seems like this whole old town seems medieval. Yeah, it is. It is. So most of these buildings have been here since um, 1600, 1400. Like if we take a walk through this way, yeah. um, we'll, I would show you the, the town hall. Yeah. Yeah. So the town hall basically has been there since um, I think um, 13 something. 13 or something like all right. yeah but it was first of all um built you know completely in 1402 if i'm not uh, mistaken yeah. so from here you can see the oh, um, nice. you can see the town hall so is that is that this yeah yeah that building that is the Tallinn town hall just yeah. like where um they come to have um, their gathering yeah yeah so before the town hall you can uh -huh. see that space uh -huh. like um this seems to this space, I would say, is the center of uh, the old town. All right. Basically, so everywhere, every corner is connected to this. To old. this place, yeah. yeah. So it's connected here, yeah. and then um, I remember speaking to you on phone mm -hmm. when I told you that um, we could also see the Christmas tree. Yeah. So yeah. Um, basically, in November, this period, um, I think, towards the ending of November mm. to um, first second week of um, January. Here, you can always come here to visit uh, the Christmas tree. You can also see that, yeah, I think you checked my video, you would also see that yeah. I made a video of Christmas yeah. tree. So the Christmas tree is always here. All right. Like, So what time do they normally put their lights up? Like Christmas tree and then um, like Ending of November. End of November. Yeah, right. yeah towards the end of November till um, the beginning of um, January. So it's always here and the Christmas tree, it's always so beautiful, like very tall, yeah. you know. So you would also come here. They have this um, ancient Estonian drink, you know, um, I forgot, it's called um, Gyogi. Okay. Yeah, so it's, uh, you just come here, you buy it, you eat um, ancient Estonian food, you know, during the Madivia yeah. time. You kind of feel that vibe, that uh, Madivia vibe, mm. you know, yeah. One question I'm sure you've heard it so many times. What's, racism. What's yeah. <laughs> How is it like yeah, over here? I, I made a video about racism yeah. in Estonia. Is it here? Of course. Racism is is everywhere, you know. I remember I made a video about um, racism in Estonia and uh, I I talked about my my experience, you know, talked about, about the lady in a bus yeah i talked yeah. about not just her though but i was just trying to be for people who haven't seen your video what what, what happened in the bus yeah. well in the bus um i decided to take a bus then um with my wife um we were in the bus so we went to um the market um mm. where we could get some meat and then um, we decided to take that route and then we went to the bus station took the bus and then this lady with her friend just came in and then said, um, Africans, go home. We don't need you guys. We speak English here. And what I did was to bring out my phone. Yeah. We didn't respond to her. Yeah. So as soon as she saw that I brought out my phone, you know, she and her friend mm. then decided to walk out. So racism is everywhere, you know, even back home, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have, we have a tribalism in it. Like everywhere you go, there will be segregation. Yeah. Be, yeah. We so how do you deal with it? Well, for me, like um, I said um, <laughs> in my video, yeah. just uh, try to be friends with them, mm -hmm. um, show them the other side of um, you as an African, yeah. as a person, we are all the same, just um, the difference there is just the skin Congo, yeah. we all have the same Congo of blood running in us, Yeah. so um, even though I don't have Estonian friends, yeah. um, I just try, you know, when they bring that um, racism to me, I mm. just try to be calm, you know, try to smile yeah. and then, or either I bring out my phone. I also remember when I was um, still studying, yeah. um, someone wanted to punch me, a guy. Wow. Yeah. He For what? I, I don't know. I think he was drunk or something, but <laughs> whenever I share this story, it kind of makes me laugh. But then that day I was ready to fight him. Okay. Yeah, because this guy was so huge. 
work work for foreigners like yourself how easy how difficult is it to get in Estonia well um, when I came in here um, the, the only work we had then was dishwashing okay. so I remembered um, paying my tuition fee via um, dishwashing mm. and you? Yeah, so we had dishwashing, but over the years, um, I would say some of these companies um, started um, employing Africans. You know, I also remember working as a customer service for Booking.com. Yeah, so yeah, I, I have um, customer service experience. So um, cost, um, Africans now, we, we are you know, holding um, mm. nice positions, okay. team leads, um, software developers. Some of us had to switch into tech. I also had to move into tech mm. um, as a front-end um, developer. So, you know, uh, because that is where um, you could um, get um, employed easily, mm. you know. <laughs> The cold. How bad can the cold be over here? <laughs> Why do we still have sun? Don't nah. be deceived. This sun. <laughs> you could just come out and say, okay, um, it's sunny, and then your hand would start freezing. The students, they suffered a lot. I, I, I used to feel for them. So, um, they have uh, yeah, the they Swedish, suffered. The Danish, Russian. yeah, the Russians, yeah. especially in the hands of the Russians. So most times, you know, when people tell me that Estonians are cold, I'll say, yes, I understand. They've Even been through a lot. They've been through a lot. But, you know, I think it is time for everyone. We need to move on, you know, regardless of what we face at some, you know, at a certain time, we need to move on. Yeah. You know? But I feel the Estonians, they keep passing this, um, this um, being reserved, you know, uh -huh. like, you know, they keep passing it to their children, children, ah. children, children. Like being cold, being quiet, being... But I, I just hope that maybe in the next um, years to come, mm. they, they will kind of open up a little bit yeah. and then um, accept foreigners fully into their system. But do you think, they sh we, say, we all say we should move on, but can they really move on when things are happening like around them, like the war and... You know, Russian situation. Don't you think it's still fresh for them? And maybe sometimes they feel like, hmm, maybe it can happen again. Or Estonian system is becoming strong. Estonia um, is one of the recognized countries in the world. I would say when it comes to IT being digitalized and everything, so I think it's easier for them to move on. Yeah. Human did move on. You know, um, all these countries, you know, surrounding them, um, Latvia, Lithuania. You know, so Estonia is even. Um, one of the top three out of the Baltic uh, nations that, um, yeah. that's when you call Latvia, um, Lithuania, Estonia is um, leading yeah. in terms of um, well being known, being digitalized and everything. So I don't think they should be scared of Russians anymore mm -hmm. because um, the army, you know, are well trained, well equipped. Okay. So another thing I also love about the Estonians is that as soon as you're 18, as a guy, as a mm. young man, they send you to um, the military zone or so. Oh, okay. Yeah, you go for training. That's one thing I love about them. And Is it like a national service? Sort yeah, of yeah, oh, right. sort of thing. Yeah, so you go for a national service. I think they also train them how to have um, an idea of doing so many things, which is also nice. All right. Yeah. African food. How African do you food. solve that problem? Do we have African shops here? Yeah, we do. We have um, African shops. We have African shops. Uh, Is there a lot? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's coming up. We have about um, three well-known shops. Mm. Yeah. So we have one in Teniskivi. We have one. Um, we have some in Mustamai. See, I've seen a lot of cathedrals over here. Yeah, like, yeah. Are Estonians religious? Um, I wouldn't say they are. I wouldn't say they are. You think they, they probably go through they the motions? They are more pagans. Yeah. Oh, okay. They are pagans. They have churches, yeah. Um, yeah. So would you think like, so the churches is like an old thing? That yeah, it's, an, it's like an old thing that, that, that was there during the medieval era. Uh, 
because we and you see the same thing in Poland as well, you know, like loads of churches. And yeah, even when yeah. people build, they'll put a crucifix in front yeah, of them. Yeah. Like even the Catholic church um, they have here in the old town. I, I was there a um, few months back. I mm. went to make a video. So the, the priest there is also from um, Poland, he's Polish and um, you know <laughs> I was wondering where are the Estonian uh, the Estonian priests, you know, where are they don't they have Estonian priests yeah. or something? But um, it was also a nice nice service. There. I just went to experience um, what it's like, you know, worshiping in the Catholic Church. Yeah. yeah. So here is the old town, and um, like I said, on the 31st of December, it's always beautiful being here, yeah. and also on the 24th of February, that is when the Estonians have their Independence Day. So usually on that day, the Estonian president is always here. Mm. Um, then I think the re last time I remember I was here, um, the Estonian president was a female, Christine okay. Kajunga. Yeah, uh, she was here, and uh, you know she, she did some former official duties. Mm. But now they they changed the um, Estonian president to a male. Um, I I can't even remember his name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not into Estonian yeah, politics, yeah. so um, it's always beautiful here. A um, lot of um, people, armies. Yeah, it's always filled up with um, U.S. Army, British yeah. Army, and um, parade and everything. Do you? Maybe it's only me, but do you? Was it something new to you when you found out that there was there is a country in Europe that gained independence? I thought it was an African. Thing. <laughs> was well, it? Was it like that to you? No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. So it you wasn't knew. Strange. You like, knew that. I, I didn't even pay more attention to it. You know? right. I, I just like. So it has a normal thing because yeah. Nigeria also gained independence. Yeah, but I, I, for some reason, I only thought that it was only Africans that got colonized. <laughs> I didn't see it as a big deal, though. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So this is where they stay, uh, where the president usually comes and do the countdown to the new year, mm. and then um, they count from most times fifty or twenty down to uh, mm. yeah. So I can imagine how nice. Yeah, it it's always be, like, nice. Um, these stops, you would see the blue, the blue light, the Estonian flag, and everything. So it's always beautiful here. When I found out that my hotel was in Old Town, I regretted a bit. Why? I, I didn't know. I, I was like, oh, maybe I should have go, gone to the main city. And then one of the guys was like, no, 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 we all go to yeah, the Old Town. Oh, so this is um, what they sell during the ah, the Dark Ages. Yeah. I would say the Madiba Ages. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is some of what they sell. You can taste the sweet almonds. Thank you it's very much. It's full with four sugars and 16 different spices. And wow. it's a medieval recipe. What, is that almond? Yes, it's ah. a sweet almond. All right. Can we try You can taste that as well. So it's good for you. You're mm. welcome. Oh, it's nice. Mm. Very nice. Do you want more? <laughs> This one is 16 gold. So this is a medieval house, like some yes. medieval food. Yes. But they do take care of them. <laughs> yes, we have learned magic. <laughs> Hello. Anyways, greetings, my lords. <laughs> greetings. How are you doing? I'm doing great. What about you? Sword? I don't have a sword. All right. I'm it just the merchant. Oh, the I merchant. I need a sword. Can you tell me about this, like the dress? Oh, well, this is yeah. what the merchants wore back in the 15th century. Oh, all right. Greetings. Yeah. And all of this is also all our houses 15th century. So during the 15th century, you will be like a rich person, right? Yes, well, this is like a richer merchant would wear, yeah. All oh, right. Nice. Oh, that's very cool. <laughs> that's very cool. Um, so do you know much about the town hall? Town hall. It used, to, it used to be a center of the trading, so to say. Mm. So, in the center of the town, they did all the trading. It was full of like, kind of like this, here, 
on all of the streets and will be like that oh, be right. full of them they're trading okay how come you, how come you speak good english how can i speak english like how come yeah oh well most of Sto most of estonians know english yeah oh, and right. i work at the tourists so i must know so english. you have no <laughs> all right okay good oh, nice thank you very much you're welcome you're welcome mm. Cool, isn't it? Honestly, wouldn't mind getting one. You know. How beautiful! Honestly, wouldn't mind getting one. With this core head. That's so rare. Uh, well, expensive. What? What? You don't see the price? I guess, I guess yeah, you're buying the head. <laughs> you're buying, you're buying the core. <laughs> Interesting. Oh that is expensive. Days. I guess it's for what was that film called? King, yeah, there's a there's a, I, know, men, is it? I know there's a movie with stuff yeah, like kingdom, this. Something kingdom. Oh my days! Interesting. So that umbrella, okay, that's just the king. Yeah, that's just a king. Yeah. Yeah. It's cost, more expensive than the umbrella. It's cost <laughs> three hundred and sixty euros. This might be. But you can buy this and that's how they do when you are broke or something. Yeah. So do you think like it's a proper gold? Nah, it's just gold plated, isn't it? It has to be just gold plated, not a chunk. Yeah. Of well, yeah, it's not going to be like a chunk of gold. All right. Yeah. So if you want to buy an umbrella for three hundred and fifty euros, you come get to Glenfield. Glenfield, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we have. Oh, so that's the game. We gate. have a lot of good fast food here as well. We have the Mambina, we have the um, KFC, we have the Burger King. Burger King is also there. All right. Yeah. So, so that's the gate. Yeah, this is the gate of um, the old town. So, so beautiful. So when you're coming in to the old town at yeah. night, you will see its beauty. You know? Yeah. Like over there, from there, you will see the lights everywhere shining. How is it like being a student in Europe? Being a student, mm. it's not that tedious. Do you? Ha is it on scholarship? No, 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 no. I was paying. You have to pay. Yeah, yeah. But most people got scholarship, but I don't think it's still um, um, it still functions due to this Ukraine war and everything. So ah. I also got. Um, but I want to I want to do my PhD. I'm looking at doing a PhD in the nearest future. So I thought of okay, let me just do a master's and see. Yeah. So I got um, admitted into one of the universities here, mm. an engineering department, and they said I have to pay. Usually, I'm not supposed to pay why I studied here. Yeah. And um, so I, I have a permit, you know, so I should just get the admission, study here for free. So they said I have to pay, and I asked why. They said because they gave um, the Ukrainians the opportunity to study for free, and I said I'm not paying, I'm not taking the admission. When it is free, let me know. Let me know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, were you when but you I were? Pay, I can't pay four thousand euros, man. Four thousand. For one year. For one year. For how many? Five years. No, just two years. Two it's years. going to be two years yeah. master's course. That's compared to UK is way cheap. Yeah, I know it's way yeah. cheap, but it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. But I can't pay that. So, so like, was it stressful working to to pay for your fees? Yeah, it was. It was yeah. like I told you when I first got in here. Um, we are doing dishwashing, yeah. at, um, and then yeah, I was combining it with um, a cleaning job. Mm. I was cleaning um, a mop, um, silver at Tendi. So after that, I do that from 6 a.m. till 10 a.m. and then I go to school. Then after school, I come to the old town. There is this uh, Indian restaurant where I used to work till 1 a.m. or most times um, 3 a.m. Yeah. Then I go back home for two hours go and um, do the cleaning so yeah. you can imagine I'm very spoiled you know I don't think I can do that <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot do that that's not enough sleep for me no, no, I am very spoiled I'm very spoiled like when I see students in the UK I'm like how but do now you do uh, most people don't do that because they come in they get a good job you know with a customer service job they work in fintechs we have so many companies now opening up um, so I'm also looking at, I told you, getting a, making, um, getting a startup where I can also employ um, people. people, you know, so that... Did you say in tech? You, yeah. Do you want to do in tech? Yeah, 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 it's going to be in tech. So, you know, people will not have to experience what I experienced, you know. I was just sleeping for basically two hours. Yeah. 
I guess you've got like the whole business plan in your Yeah, head. everything, everything planned out. So, um, the, the company is registered already. Okay. Yeah, it's registered. And um, well, how are you financing it? Are you going to do it yourself or you want to I, I have been doing it myself, but <coughs> I have also been putting out um, application for investors, yeah. sending out my pitch. I'm looking for investors. Do you want to try? Hey guys, so I I have a startup and um, so it's basically like an e-commerce uh, service where um, Africans can showcase what they have, you know, so in case maybe you as an African living in Estonia, uh, maybe you want to purchase food, you want to purchase any African product, um, you could just um, switch on to the app, search for whatever you want, so maybe food, um, so we are going to start with food ordering first of all, and then um, later migrate to uh, maybe clothing, phones, anything African product. So that's just the whole idea. So we have um, a pitch, and then we are looking for investors who are willing to support us, motivate us, nurture us. Um, this is my first time starting up a business, like um, so. I, w I, w I want in a situation whereby I would get an investor who would teach me how to run a business how to be great and then um, how to go global because I wouldn't want to just um, settle here in Estonia mm. as, um, as a company. I want in a situation whereby we could also move to other um, part of the world. So one of our board members is also in um, Canada. Okay. So we are looking at um, setting up the company in Canada pretty soon. So that's just the whole thing um, about the company. Mm. So we are registered and um, we are legal. Yeah. Um, so I'll put his socials at the description of this video and if you can help out, please contact him through that um, means. This is beautiful. It's got it's got this uh, Kremlin feel to yeah, it. Let's go this way. You wanna you wanna video this? The entrance is over there. But we can't see on the net. One thing is. The place is full of cathedrals and they all look majestic. Yeah. I think this is like the most uh, so we're gonna go this the way. most number of cathedrals I've seen in one place. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have any like African embassies here? No. I tried I tried to see no? if I could get Ghanaian embassy, I, I couldn't. Oh, we should go to we should go to Ida. I think they wanted me Ida. to go to Ida. Holland. Oh yeah. yeah. Because for Nigerian embassy? We go to either Sweden, Ukraine, but now they moved the um, Ukraine embassy to Lithuania. Okay. I don't know why you didn't go to here to Estonia. So for you, if you, I guess you I have a, you have your Nigerian passport, so you don't have to get a visa. Oh. When, let's say you, let's I say you to had a. When I renew my passport, yeah, yeah. I went to the um, Swedish, uh, emba the Nigerian yeah, embassy in Sweden. In Sweden. Well, so do you, did you have to do, did you have to go there physically or? Yeah, yeah, I did. I oh. went there physically. So I went there using a cruise, like okay. all night ship. Ah. So I went on a cruise. You know what, um, Charles has treated me really well here. He showed me a lot. Um, and I want to say thank you for what you did for us. Um, do you want to introduce your channel? Yo guys, um, yeah. At the beginning of this video, I told you my name was Charles uh, Madawuchi. I also have a YouTube channel. So um, it's called Charles Madawuchi YouTube channel. Um, just he's going to um, yeah. in my um, channel um, on the description. So you can also like my videos, comment, but make sure you like this video. Um, 
tell us what you think about this video what we should have done better you know how we could have um, been better you know with um, this video we are always open to learn and um, try to you know broaden our horizons so make sure you stay safe um, that's just the most important thing now right. thank you so okay much, so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to come on my journey of experience thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one thank you so much All for right. having me thank you thank you